So, I've never really played a Kirby game. Never really played a Kirby game. Uh, the last one that I, well, the only one that I've actually played was like in a, was an in-store demo as a kid. And I think that was like, it was like that Kirby breakout game or whatever. Kirby pinball or something like that. Something like, something with breakout elements on the Game Boy. But that was, in, again, that was an in-store, like, that was an in-store display model. What the heck? A Kirby game that is simple to play. You will have a lot of health for this adventure. Perfect for those who are new to action games. A Kirby game that's a bit wilder and more challenging. This adventure will be tough at times, but you collect a lot of star coins as rewards. Okay. I've watched Kirby and it's like, eh. I don't know how to feel about it because it's just like, you all, he always ends up with that apparently he ends up with like a boss fight that's like oh well this is like a god or demon that could destroy the entire universe if allowed to exist like you know <laughs> I'm also kind of I'm also still salty because a Kirby has beaten me in tournament before and it was a tournament that was poorly managed because that Kirby played keep away and just kept jumping away from the stage and then j jumping back when he felt safe and I could <laughs> oh no Kirby's been sucked into another dimension like, is it the world of light again? <laughs> the world of light happening again? This bit, Nintendo, don't copyright this. <laughs> I know how you guys are, but you guys released this demo, and this is just me playing the demo. So, yeah, don't. So it's like Kirby in like actual 3D. Because if I remember right, Kirby's a, mainly a 2D game, right? So, well, right now it kind of feels like Crash. Okay, I was like, Kirby can die, can't he? Like, he can die this early in the game, can he? <laughs> He's like, oh. So I guess this plays a lot like trash. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna clean up trash. 
You don't need no trash in the forest. Pick up your trash, people. Someone should really take care of their buildings. Look at all this growing on the buildings here. Is the city abandoned or something? Sword cover. I took damage? Oh, so as long as I hold it, I can just hover. Although, is his really a hover? Are you really? Okay, I can't hurt myself. Okay, so holding it allows me to throw it a distance. A car? And a... Oh, those look so cute though! Oh wait, don't eat them! And you're gonna eat the car? They're so cute. Wow. Just gonna, just gonna eat it, huh? You just, just eat things. These donuts.
So I can just run over things in a car. In car form now, huh? I bet I can fall off if I'm not careful with my driving. <laughs> Um, okay. I can jump that. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on, you can make it. The car can make it. They're not going to let me. I have lives so this could be like Mario um, Odyssey where you just lose like coins or whatever for every time you die oh why are the cute why are the cute little wolves trapping the mother thing the waddle these Like, why are we gonna... It's like, what kind of world have we landed in? Well, that's the case. Oh my god. I preemptively set bombs. They will walk into bomb. They will spawn into bombs. All right. So the ultimate question: Do you want the Crash Bandicoot dance, or do you want the Kirby dance? Or heck, Mario now has one too, right? Yeah, it looks like one of them took a bite out of your ear.
Ethelin. Okay. I gotta make sure I'm reading that name right. <laughs> There's nothing like secret hidden here, right? I think I got everything. Just grab it. And you just get immediately thrown into it with very little story. I guess <laughs> it's kind of likable. He has no idea what's going on. Wait, what? I can jump and shoot. Oh no. Jump and shoot so we can't. That ability disappeared by now, right? Yep.
I don't know what that is. Don't know what that was, but okay. I picked it up. <laughs> Uh -huh. By eating your bomb, I have now become Bomb Kirby! I cannot be stopped. Mouth. What the heck? Ah, uh, bad as for this. What are the coins for, anyway? If not for extra lives. Random secret objectives. I don't know what that is I picked up. If only you could combine. I think that was an ability Kirby had before. It was like he had the ability to combine.
<laughs> There's only a checkpoint. <laughs> Wow. Maybe I need like bomb. Maybe I need to like come up here with like bomb Kirby or something. And blow it up. That makes the most sense. Just testing. Oh. oh, wait. I'm sorry, but apparently you guys are my enemies, so I have to kill you. I don't want to kill you. That poor turtle. <laughs> oh, 
So what was that little area up there that needed something else? What is the... Kirby was pulled into a mysterious vortex that appeared in the sky over his home planet on Pop's home planet Popstar. Ah, excuse me. I read that to completely wrong. <laughs> Kirby was pulled into a mysterious vortex that appeared in the sky over his home on planet Popstar. When he woke up, he was in a new world. Traveling through the vortex also gave Kirby a, a new and mysterious power. Let's see what it can do. Onward to adventure! What's the? I thought I picked up more than that though. Didn't it? The brawl at the mall. Mall brawls are bad. They're on the news all the time, and they always end up. They always end in like shootouts. Uh, you don't get to keep your power through levels. Like, you don't get you keep your ability through levels. That poor vending machine. I saw something light up. I always gotta look around in these games because there's always like hidden stuff. Oh, uh, like maybe I should have shot something at that X. I think maybe that would have opened something. What? What is with all that food over there? I have all that food over there. DK would have loved those bananas. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's neat. Oh, hold on. There's something I want to test. This would be neat if this actually meant something. Oh. Those would have been neat if it actually meant, like, hey, there's something here. And then watch someone tell me, like, oh, yeah, there actually is something there. You just used the wrong ability. I'm like, no! How much mileage am I going to get out of bomb? I feel like ice might be the way to go. Besides, I get the ice skate. Um, hello. 
Who's <laughs> 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 like, oh. <laughs> Strong armed beast, Gory Mundo. Oh god! <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Probably would've been better if I went bomb then. Like, I kind of feel like abandoning the power just so I could spit these stars at him. Although the ice seems to be doing something if I keep at it, right? I'm going to flail my arms like this. Whatever happens is your fault. Thank you for playing as a prize playing the demo version. You earned the present code. Clear demo. We'll just like screenshot that. An extra gift for going on out. As a reward for going on out in this demo version, you've earned an extra special present code. New adventure. You can use these present codes to get extra items in the release version. Enter both codes at Waddle D libraries which will open as you progress through the story more adventures awaiting the full release but why not do we why do we have to kill the cute things?
share a Joy-Con for co-op. Like, uh, I don't have anybody that's willing to play co-op, though. And I guess it's, I don't know, I guess it's some sort of meme or something that, like, you finally get to play as Waddle D. Oh. That's cool. So where's King DDD then? Okay, that. Oh, hey, there's King DDD. Lots to do. Evolve your copy abilities. A new world of mysteries. Find blueprints and use them to evolve your copy abilities at Waddle Dee's weapon shop. Soar through the air as fire as a fire breathing dragon. Turn bombs into enemy seeking drones. There are all kinds of new abilities discovered. <laughs> as you rescue more Waddle Dee's parts of the town get rebuilt. Enjoy a quiet meal with Ethelin at the cafe. You you can even get a part-time gig and play challenging mini games. At the curry. <laughs> uh, so that yeah, that's Kirby. You can now use evolved copy abilities. Play through the stage again and take your new evolved test ab abilities for a test run. Oh, so they want, so they allow you to play through it again, huh? This is like, why is all this over here? Like, why was that all, why was that over there? <laughs> so I get to see some Evolve Evil abilities. Let's have a look. Frosty Ice! Oh, I can make... Snowmen uh, and shoot them. Cool. What's this there? Oh my god. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Yeah, gotta get sword! This sounds like this could be the most fun. This may be fun. Alright! Mm. No, I'm going with Ball. Don't. Don't change your mind.
Dang, <laughs> he stepped on that. <laughs> that had to be painful. <laughs> Alright. That should be something I should say. <laughs> I, sh I should do that. <laughs> I should do that for when I play. <laughs> like, playing actual game. Like, going on, sword! <laughs> just, just yell out the ability names like it's a, like it's a, um, Super Sentai. Hold on. I might do that. Give me a sec. <laughs> I want to do something. Oh. <laughs> okay, just pick up the ability. <laughs> I was like, you go and pick up an ability, and it's like... FROST THE ICE! CHAIN BOMB! GIGANT SWORD! MAXIMUM DRIVE! <laughs> no, oh, yeah, okay. No, I haven't watched Kamen Rider. I just, <laughs> I just think it, I think that's cool though. That'd be cool if I could slice the rocks. That would be cool if I could slice the rocks. Like every time <laughs> that should be a thing for Kirby. Like every time you pick up a power up, and, like you just hear the name of the power up, <laughs> like just be screamed out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, okay, that's it for this demo. <laughs> oh, next week we'll do a different demo because I got a lot of demos I got to cover. <laughs>